what I remember is <clears throat> when, <clears throat> excuse me, when Cal was little, we we did just about like you all do. We all went home uh, to mom and daddy's for Christmas, and everybody else came too. From Virginia. <laughs> yeah, or you know, when we were in Mississippi, as long as as mom and dad, as long as daddy was living, and. And that's, you know, we had the same traditions there with them that we have here with our own family. And when Daddy died, of course, there was no home to go to. So then that's when we began to, you know, do our own Christmas at home, at our home, because we didn't have anywhere to go. We were always... So that would have been 1960, so... Uh -huh. when, when, he was alive, yeah, when he was alive, how many... Did all of your brothers and sisters come back for Christmas? Almost all of them. Mm -hmm. Isabel and, and Billy would come from East St. Louis where they lived and, and we lived in Jackson and Esney and, and Billy would would come and <clears throat> Edwin and Woody. Everybody else lived in Mississippi. Yeah, everybody right? lived time, not yeah. too far away. Joe and Pat never came. They, you know, they, they just were not as, as close to the family as all the rest of us were. You know, he had his work and it involved uh, his ministry and, <clears throat> but that's what happened. And and we did the same thing, you know, we'd get up on Christmas morning and, and everybody would uh, open the gifts and the children would all have theirs and, and then mama would, uh, and daddy would do the cheese gravy and then we'd have a big uh, uh, dinner uh, later in the day and, and still, all of our cousins and I would come and and. Well, how did um, well, I guess that's good. Well, how did your cheese gravy tradition start? Well, that um, that started with my my grandmother. Um, she <clears throat> and my grandfather, whom I have I never knew, he died before even before my parents married. Uh, <clears throat> lived probably twenty five or thirty miles from. Louis, which was the nearest town, and my my grandfather would go uh, with horse and wagon into town a couple of times a year to just buy the staple things like a barrel of sugar or a barrel of flour or you know things in big big. Um, Is this your father's yes. father? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> so every Christmas he would bring a hoop, what they call a hoop of cheese, which is a big round, was in a wooden box. Uh, home for Christmas and in order to make this big because they had a large family too big hoop of cheese go further my grandmother would would put it in you know grate yeah. it up and put it in gravy and so that was kind of something they started doing on Christmas morning my grandmother did and and my mother of course being from New England never heard of such a thing but she thought it was wonderful, so she started doing it uh, for all of us. And that was the only time we ever had cheese gravy was Christmas morning. That was the only time you had cheese at the house was during Christmas Well, morning. we may have had cheese other times, but it was that was a particular thing that we always had. We never had cheese gravy any other time, mm -hmm. but we may have had cheese. But <clears throat> when, and, when did you start fixing cheese gravy? Yeah, once you started celebrating Christmases uh, at your own house, when did that start? Well, it gravy? started early on because I, I don't remember not ever having done it. Because um, you all liked it, you know, everybody liked it. And that was uh, sort of the only time, it was just something I sort of brought along from the family to, so. <laughs> well, we used to have cheese gravy. Pretty often. We did. We Pretty often. On, on until occasion. I had my heart problems, and then we cut back to just uh, <laughs> when Adam comes, or Christmas, or North comes. North comes, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the trips that we would take yeah. um, for Christmas to go, because it was See, a long was trip. See, he was only seven yeah. when Daddy um, died. And I can remember, there's just, there's certain fleeting memories that I have. I remember that house, mm -hmm. the house that you drew as a part of the and um, I can remember being there, and, and, and I have fairly vivid memories of um, 
being in that rocking chair with him. Yeah. <laughs> on his knee. Uh -huh. The rocking chair that we have yeah. in the you know, the house that, that yeah. you guys are going to get. Um, well, um, take. But it's mm -hmm. um, those those are the things that um, I remember. And I remember getting a bath in a in a uh, pail. Hey, in a tub. In a tub. That yeah. house too. I think it was in 1956 that we took Ms. Umphress back to Connecticut to visit her uh, first cousins that uh, were there. And Cal stayed with Mr. Umphress, Ruth's father, while we were gone, what, a week, 10 days? Maybe, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, Nearly and, two weeks yeah. he stayed. And uh, <laughs> so. Uh, we were anxious to get back to Louisville to see to see Cal because you know we we had missed him so much, so we pulled up into Mr. Mr. Humphrey's yard, and Cal comes running out, and we threw our arms out, and Cal said hello, and he just kept going. He didn't know who we were. <laughs> <laughs> he was little. <laughs> well, of course, his his name was Chester Calhoun, so that's that's my namesake, and then. You know, that's evolved down to uh, Callan. <laughs> the Callans, uh, as well, is a, yeah. is a part of uh, that. part of your father. And I, I vividly, I was very, very small, but I vividly remember my father saying to my mother, with such sadness, I don't guess we'll have any more babies. You know, here they'd had 11 children, and he was sorry they weren't going to have any more because Mama was 44 years she was. But they were, uh, they just loved children, mm -hmm. babies, children, and um, no, no, it was, it, that was just who they were. And, uh, and, and Daddy more so than Mama. He was much more uh, affectionate and outgoing, and she was a shyer person. <clears throat> but, yeah, I think that's what, what really held us all together, you know, was was this feeling of a family that we all have have, have always had. And and I think it was due to to him, you know, mostly. Although she was certainly, you know, absolutely wonderful parent. He was the more loving of the two. <laughs> My family didn't have any Christmas traditions, as I remember, the only thing was that my father prepared breakfast on Christmas morning, and it wasn't any kind of a special special <laughs> breakfast. He just, you know, cooked the eggs and bacon and whatever. But I remember one Christmas when my sister began to cook, uh, she and I decided that we would cook Christmas breakfast, and we were living in that old hotel there in, in P. Lanchett. And so we got up early, went in the kitchen, and my sister started mixing the flour and the milk and all the ingredients. And she couldn't get it the right consistency. She just kept adding and kept adding, you know, it was getting bigger and bigger. And finally, my father came in to check on us because it was taking such a long, long time. And he found out this big bowl of uh, flour mix that just wasn't ready for anything. So he just went out the side door and threw, threw, it, out, threw it outside. And then came back in and was helping my sister make up an, another batch. Of, and in the meantime, my mother came in and she looked outside and saw all that dough out there. And she come running in and said, oh, it snowed last night. It snowed last night. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> yeah. well, well, since you started, uh, once uh, Granddaddy died, and of course you started having Christmases at, at your house. And for things, or, and, and up, up through, that's been, you know, what, uh, 50? Christmases since mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. um, what are there any memorable ones that uh, stick out? While she's while she's thinking, let me let me just uh, say this. Uh, my family was was not very close. My mother, father, brothers, sisters, and you know, uh, and we didn't have many traditions or anything like this. And uh, one of the things that uh, my lovely wife here has taught me is the importance of family. I did, I did not have a good understanding and appreciation of family life until I married her and got involved with her family and she taught me the importance of family life. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs>